What is up DTube Steam Blockchain? So LCKJ made a video on DTube asking if new Steam was still great. And I would say it still is. And uh, a year ago, around a year ago, I said that in a year, I think that content creators are really going to start to have a bigger role, a bigger influence role. And that it was almost natural that it would happen because I could sort of see already then that a lot of real content creators eventually got a lot of uh, well support. And that it's not that it's not that content creators are magical or higher up than anyone else, but it's that, well, Steam Blockchain is uh, a creator platform, so it always needs new content coming out daily. So that means uh, you always need a production and the only people that are going to keep up with that and find it enjoyable and the only people that are going to have massive patience is the people that are just enjoying what they're doing and that they're enjoying the process so much that the rewards, they're happy if, if it's something is coming in or if something is not coming in and so on. So... New Steam, I think, is really great, to be honest. The main reason is because I don't really see how anyone ever can now complain again. And it's nice to not see the complaints. Uh, not see the complaints anymore. For example, people could complain in the, pa in the, ba in the past about curator earnings. They actually could complain. Now they really can't complain anymore. Like there's no nothing you really can complain about because the curator earnings are good. So that is the best thing I think about the new Steam. And uh, in a way, it almost looks like there is no activity. But I think people should in a way also then remember that that also that we sort of been maybe conditioned with tv since the 1950s that some technology it should always have a lot of activity going on all the time while maybe with this new technology people eventually is going to realize that technology is just going to be something in the background and and that 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 is going to be like running water or electricity or something like that. That it's just going to be something that's there, and then people are not maybe going to look at it as maybe they're not even going to look at it as a platform, but maybe they're just going to going to look at it as regular technology, just using technology. So, for example, right now people are looking at it in in certain boxes: Twitter, Instagram. YouTube and, and they have these sort of labels uh, which maybe they identify with and eventually I think it's just going to be it's just going to be technology it's just going to be a person do what they're doing and it's it's going to be out there in the technology world and uh, people basically have access that's a nice label to be honest access that's something that people want in this world people don't want ownership they want access. They want access, 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 access. For example, yes, I can buy a smartphone for $1,300. But it would almost be more ideal if I could just lease the device for way lower cost. It would create more access. More people would have that. But eventually, I don't even know if we're going to use smartphones in the future. Because, again, we're moving towards just yes, technology. Hmm... So, okay, so new Steam, we can see that it doesn't, that it, it seems, for example, like the bear market, or I'm not financial advisor, you know that already, but um, you look at the global landscape of, of stuff going on, and in this, like, global world, uh, and you see all of this stuff happening, and, and so on, and uh, it seems as... Uh, maybe we're gonna have a couple of slow years 
uh, because it's it's so many, especially now in a global world, there's so many factors that 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 determines how stuff play out. For example, you you, you can have one event in a day that affects ten other things, so it becomes almost harder to sort of uh, know where the landscape is going. I know some other people are gonna say that yeah, if you use a lot of perception, maybe you're gonna be more right. You're probably gonna be more right. But uh but uh yeah machine learning is pushing people into certain patterns, sure. Machine learning is sort of um Machine learning is sort of following what people are doing, but machine learning doesn't understand, for example, when a person, maybe you have machine learning on Instagram, okay? So it follows a person around and it sort of tries to understand what a human being wants and so on. But again, it doesn't know when that human just gets bored of the Instagram, Instagram app and almost never uses it. So that is somewhat I think is gonna happen because I look at my own trends I find Instagram, it's not as exciting as it was back in the days. The cool factor is gone and I found better technology. So you sort of feel like, okay, other people also eventually going to realize that. And it's kind of a bit like gold mining. Uh, if, if something can offer a better deal eventually and when it's convenient and easy, when people have the latest devices and so on, they're probably just going to go to something that brings more value. So... A few slow years, I think we may see, and it may seem it may seem like nothing is really happening here, but stuff is all always happening. Uh, in a way, I sort of enjoy slow times, even when uh, price goes down and so on, because many times you can pick up the same sort of tokens, and uh, many times there's less competition. Mm, so in some ways can be easier to gather stuff that may have more value in the future. Of course, that's never a guarantee. All this can go to zero. <laughs> All this can go to zero. You can have some other major event happen in the world that sort of affects things. Uh, I still sort of believe, I say, or believe, I don't like using that word, <laughs> but it seems, it really does seem like Steam is going to go down to some some epic low, three cents maybe. Because if Bitcoin goes up uh, with the new Steam and all that, if Bitcoin goes up, I think that actually may, that may not, in many ways, that may not be super beneficial for Steam. That can make Steam dump even more. Because as, as we saw when, when, uh, when Bitcoin went up, Steam did not follow it. It did not follow it at all. Uh, so I sort of look at that and and and, uh, and uh, if someone just creates something that's a little bit better, it can in many ways create a lot of gravity gravity uh, towards that sort of direction. So it's going to sort of be interesting to see how this plays out, if there is going to be some kind of bottom here. Because uh, a lot of the ICO stuff from 2017, a lot of that showed up to be scam, scams from what I saw. That was, I think it was super high actually in the scam levels. And I think that we're probably going to have a lot of those things coming up even in the future. And um, it slows things down for sure. I mean, it does slow things down, but... Even when we get these nutcase projects and, and scandals and stuff like that, even when that pops up early on, eventually it's going to make people using more logic and think more and, and use more critical thinking. So eventually humans are going to figure out like what is happening, what is the best technology, uh, is, is someone doing something better. So it might seem as craziness in some ways is speeding up, in, in all the industries, not just the, the crypto industry, but eventually not cases are, are being seen doing crazy stuff. People are starting to use more logic and intellect and they start to figure things out and they sort of start to dive deeper into 
yeah, dive deeper into things. So, for example, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff that people think is like a lot of usually people, uh, for example, look at words or events, but the smart people, you you look at ideas and 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 look at how you need to sort of restructure everything from the ground. And many people do not understand that money equals power and that it has a very very big role in how humans live their life and so on so i do think that new steam yeah it's better it can still be even better because if i look at my own life you still have a lot of time over there's still a lot of um a lot of unalloc let's say or i don't have to bring that up well, I mean, you can create even better systems where value flows faster, where it actually should, where I actually think it should flow into people that are actually doing a lot of stuff. And that can be sort of optimized uh, going forward. And I think it is, especially with DTube. I mean, it's it's amazing to see, even though it's used to test that, it's amazing to see that DTC flow and the liquidity and all that. And I really think that that is going to be a winning formula. So, but yeah, it might be even, might be some more slow years. Seems as something is going to come out eventually, even some software or some AI thing, stuff like that, and that's probably going to speed things up quite fast. It seems like that's going to happen, but who knows when. But I see with smartphones at least, smartphones are really getting exponentially better but many people can't afford it right now.